Miranda yes um, my ID is one eight one six double four triple zero eight I'm from international class program of science education state university of Makassar um, I got some tasks from my lecture Miss Siti Rahma Yunus to make uh, to make video with arrange time 10 minutes let's see this is the story of fireball earth this city the people in it in fact all life on the planet are only here by chance 99% of all the species they ever exist were wiped out in a series of global catastrophes disasters that change the course of evolution but without them we would not be here at all 250 million years ago the largest volcanic eruption the planet had ever seen nearly erase all life on earth imagine Earth's history of four and a half billion years of it compressed into two, 24 hours of a single day each minute. It's three million years at midnight. The planet was born at 12 to. We suffered our first catastrophe. Earth collided with another planet. The our planet was nearly destroyed but in its wake life began billion of years past then at 8.27 pm. Earth was in case in ice for million years primitive life in the oceans. Was pushed to the brink but when the ice melt life took its greatest ever evolutionary. Live from single cell to multicellular organism and then things calm down but not for long 10 40 pm on our o'clock that's 250 million years ago once again every living thing faced extinction it's a period in prehistory called the permian and the earth faced the biggest catastrophe it had ever seen on cataclysmic even kick started a chain reaction that wiped out 95% of all the animal and plant species. Can you imagine that? According to scientists like South African paleontologist Roger Smith, the interview extinction was as dramatic as a mass extinction. Could be since the beginning of life on Earth. There has been no other one that has come close to 95% of species on Earth were in land and sea, disappearing within a very short space of time. If scientists could find evidence of intense volcanic activity taking place just before the mass extinction, then it could be the smoking gun they have been looking for deep beneath the frozen walls of one of the remote corners of the ears. Siberia is a major clue a vast expanse of ancient lava flows forming a bleak landscape called the Siberian Traps. The Siberian Traps are a style volcanism which we don't see on earth today. They represent the biggest style volcanism that the earth ever experienced or products. Bentham's analysis of the Larky eruption has shown that the choline even produced by volcanic sulfuric dioxide is deadly and the effects can be felt thousands of miles away. Imagine how devastating the Siberian traps must have been. Like his pale put gas and lava fade months and covered an area of about 200 square miles in molten rock. But the Siberian traps erupt for nearly half a million years. 
they have reduced almost 3 million square miles of lava. The global warming mark and evolutionary was watershed in the earth history animal and plant super from drug and starvation. 35% of them perish. But the fallout from the Siberian traps was only just beginning. The rise in global temperature triggered a terminal that unleashes the next terrible wave of extinction this time in the oceans. The evidence suggests that 250 million years ago, the rapid global warming created by volcanic gases warmed not only atmosphere, it warmed the oceans. They stop circulating oxygen and stagnate, becoming breeding grounds for poisonous hydrogen sulfide producing bacteria. Climate change triggered by the Siberian traps had already killed around one per three of all the species on land. The rising, the temperature of Earth oceans in then caused the death of virtually all life on the sea. But the killing was not finished lurking at the bottom of the oceans. Was another killer on the road wipe out practically everything else on earth. 250 million years ago, billions of tons of volcanic gas produced by the Siberian traps triggered off the cyclones. The eruption increased global temperature by 5 degrees this, the world warmed up enough to tow the frozen methane hydrate at the bottom oceans and release billions of tons of potent greenhouse gas into air as atmosphere. It's already causing the planet to heat up and scientists fear that the runaway global warming of the past could happen again in the future. With more than 10, 30 trillion tons of methane, look up as hydrates on the seafloor the potentials for another hydrate meltdown is a real today as it was 250 million years ago but this time we would have started it the end permian extinction was one of the most important chapters in the, the story of evolution of life it's an incredible talk but in nearly wiped out life itself from the eyes of the planet it ended the region of the masters of the earth but it provided opportunities for other survivors who become our direct ancestors without the mass extinction even all this probably would not be here at all Okay, so that's my video. I hope you like them. Thank you for watching my video.